So yeah. we're here with Gavin Free. Who's we? You? Me. I'm here. You, I'm here with you, Gavin. We so just are we. Here with we are here us. with each other. There we go. It's early, guys. It's 11 a.m. in Texas. We're playing Trials. Yay! You're good at this game. Uh, well, I'm not as good as Jack, but you know, You're, Jack's busy doing other things. Yeah. So we got Gavin. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Gavin's thumb? Yeah, Gavin. Want to tell the story of what happened to your poor thumb? So yesterday, my cat went outside. And uh, I couldn't find him for ages. And then I heard him behind the fence. He crawled under the fence. And uh, my cat, when he goes outside, he gets a bit feral. He likes to show off in front of all the other cats and uh, hiss at me and stuff. Inside, he's a delight. Oh, okay. And I reached under to grab him, and he was like, Meow. and I was like, all right, chill out. Because he scratched me before. He's bitten me before a little bit, too. He gets playful. And I thought, stupidly, mm-hmm. that, uh, you know. It's a cat bite. How bad could it be? Right. Turns out, whenever he'd bitten me before, it was like 20% strength. And uh, he went 400% on my thumb <laughs> and just Jeez. bit a hole through it. Oh. So uh, it, it just wouldn't stop bleeding. Well. So now I'm going to get some uh, antibiotics so I don't get an infection. Oh, shit. Because cat, cat mouth is gross. True. Cat have mouth you ever is had gross. A cat? I have had a cat. Yeah. Yeah. Cat mouth is not, not great. People say, oh, you know, cats are really clean mouths. It's antiseptic. A lot of bollocks. You're getting yeah. an infection from a cat gob. Also, if he was outside, you don't know what he's been into. Yeah. Probably some other cat. Yeah. Oh, there's a bomb there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I suck at Trials. Trials is that game where I, I cannot play it. Why not? I don't know. Don't I don't have the patience. I don't have the patience, and I don't have the skill level. Oh, oh man. There's something about the physics, because it's a very... Isn't it a physics-accurate <laughs> <laughs> accurate yeah. game or something? Yeah. There's and something and about Jack just, is like... Yeah. He's stupid good. Jack sees the code. Yeah. He is like some weird Matrix yeah. genius when it comes to trials, but for me, I'm just a fucking dumb, stupid it idiot. It actually makes me more attracted to Jack. Really? Like his thumb work is incredible. You just all I of a sudden can't could, handle... I bet he could finger bang like crazy. You know, that's something I don't really want to think about. But thank you, Gavin. Thank you for putting that in everybody's minds. You're welcome, chat. Is this your first RTX as an employee? Yeah. It's my third RTX in general, but first as an employee. So I'm excited. I'm excited for my first RTX as an employee. That's That sounds fun. What about you, Gavin? Am I, am I excited for RTX? Yeah. What, like what, 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 what most are you excited about? Well, um, the panels are good. Yep. Um, it's always a challenge balancing time. Oh, God, yeah. Between... Doing sign ups, uh, not sign ups, <laughs> <laughs> signings, and just sort of walking around meeting people mm-hmm. and doing panels. Um, last year I did more walking around and less panels. And the year before I did like 12 panels. What so about I'm gonna this find, year? I'm going to split the difference this year. All right. do, uh, I think I'm on like seven or eight panels. That's not bad. It's not too bad. Yeah. Got some signings too. I think I'm doing one with Gus. It, the thing is, it's only three days, so it's fine anyway. Like Even right. if you're ram-packed all three days, it's like, yeah. Yeah, and it's I'll, three days. Then I'll have a sleep the day after. Also, we have, yeah, we have off on Monday, so. Do we? Yeah, because it's the 4th of July, man. So, do I, do I not have to go on the podcast, I mean? It's the 4th of July. I guess, I guess they'll just use the podcast we do at RTX. Yeah, that's, that that's probably sense. what it is. You know, the 4th of July means nothing to me. Yeah, I know. It's like because you are British. <laughs> <laughs> My British friends are staying through. They have like a good load of them coming in for RTX. And sorry, it sounded like you said British friends, I as do. though you have, as though I'm not your only British. Friend. I'm sorry, Gavin. You're not my only British friend. I, I, I I'm so sorry. I, I forgot to tell you. Uh, I'm seeing other Brits. I'm so sorry. It's bullshit. I know it's absolute bullshit, but they're they're staying for the fourth, and we're making sure that they get accurate American 4th of July, so we're going to get barbecue, go see fireworks. Sounds good. It's going to be fun. All right, this one's really hurting the old thumb. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Okay, so just got a little... You know, I'm going to do some easy levels. (laughs) (laughs) Playing like this is very hard. Yeah. Does your thumb, like, super hurt? Yeah. Or is it just wrapped up? It hurts. Oh, I'm on man. Advil right now. Dude, your cat just wrecked you. <laughs> he did. Oh, yeah. People are saying Gavin loved your scene in day five. Oh, yeah. That was a pretty dark out. scene. Oh, you watched it? I did. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I won't spoil anything, but. You know, it was, uh, I'm pretty efficient. Yeah. I think it, the kind of reality of it set in a little bit 
late of like while I was watching it, I was like, oh, 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 oh my god. But it was it was good. It was fun to film. I actually um so I had a lot of makeup on to make me look five days awake. Right. And uh I was flying to England that day and mm-hmm. I left from the set straight to the airport. So I looked like crap. Was everybody on that super plane. concerned? People like, were looking oh, at me and I man. kept forgetting why. And then my dad picked me up in England. Uh huh. And he was like, what, what happened? I was like, oh, no, it's just makeup, don't worry. Are they not treating you well over there? <laughs> like, God, do I need to call someone? The annoying thing is for me in these games is mm-hmm. that I know I have to adapt to complete harder bits. Right. But I just keep trying the same crap over <laughs> and over again. I just like, I want my method to work before is, I have to adjust. Is that the definition of insanity? Trying the same thing I think over it's just again? Being and a stubborn bastard. A or being a stubborn bastard. That, that, true. Yeah, 4th of July is the day the USA celebrates our independence from England, but now it's not really about that. It's more about fireworks and barbecue. Uh, yeah, I can get on board with those. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I'll get an achievement today. Whoa, the slow-mo spray paint is already up at $81,000. That's crazy. That's impressive. I haven't seen that one yet, but I want to. We just, uh... Shot spray paint cans with a BB gun, and then we hit one with an axe, and then a sledgehammer... That's awesome. And then I just popped on eBay, assuming that someone would want it, but I didn't expect it to go for, well, there's still eight days left on it, but it's up to $81,000. Jesus. That's crazy. I've been removing clearly fake bids. Like, there's some accounts that don't have any, like, they've just been made recently. Right. So they probably have no intention on paying, so I've been removing those, but... But that's... I mean, it's it's so... It's all for charity, so, like, if they're trying to ruin the auction you're just taking money away from charity it doesn't yeah, make any sense to the, the, me i can see why you th- might think it's funny but but also like if the money charity. was going to me or something but you're just stopping charity money right that's like don't be a tool that's kind of douchey yeah and it's for the kids it's for the kids it's not even just for charity it's for the kids so like really be nice it's for the kids and it's probably kids doing it <laughs> <laughs> true ah! very true I think my favorite Slow Mo Guys video that you guys did was the um, paint and water. Was that it? It was the like ink one? the ink and water. That yeah, in one. the aquarium. That was so pretty. Yeah, I it was all the one. really pretty ones. Some of them are a bit artsy fancy. That was yeah. terrible. I'm gonna do that one again. Yeah, the uh, first one I ever showed, like it was the the day that I actually met you in LA. I what are the chances my, that the day you showed your dad yeah, my videos? The day I did, like an hour, not you even an hour before, <laughs> and it was the one of you exploding a house with grenades. That's which one it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I honestly can't believe that that's, that series of events happened. It was like fucking ridiculous, especially because my dad thought I was fucking with him. I was yeah. like, no, dad, seriously, that's Gavin Free over there. And he's like, no, it's not. <laughs> like, isn't, isn't he British or something? Shouldn't he not even be in this country? <laughs> that was insane. Now, now I really want sushi. Damn. Oh, that place was so good. Oh, so good. After your dad left, Meg was like, how awesome was that? And I was like, what? Why was that awesome? <laughs> and then she told me who he was. I was like, oh, damn it. Because <laughs> I've obviously, I'd seen him and stuff. I just didn't know him by name. Right. And I, we didn't have Reading Rainbow in the UK. So. Right. So what was I like to meet that day? Uh, you were very nice. Was I? Yeah. I like that you're con- you were confused about that. Was I? Was I nice? Well, usually after I meet someone, uh-huh. I don't ever really know them afterwards. But That's you're, true. Like, but I know you now. That's Crazy. very true. Yeah, no, you were, you were super nice. I think it was just a weird experience because, like I said, I showed my parents that Slow Mo Guys video an hour before. And then we <laughs> happened to run into you, like, down the street from our house, <laughs> which is just super fucking surreal. Um, I know where you live. You do know where I live. You took an Uber with me there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, you were super nice, and I, th- oh, I mean, thanks. I was still like a small baby fangirl, so. You were a fangirl? Yeah. You do realize I was a fan of Achievement Hunter before I got hired, right? Yes. Yes. Well, I was a fan of Rooster Teeth before I got hired. Exactly. High five. Yeah. All the all the high fives. So, it was nicely, nicely done. Ah! All right. <laughs> oh, wow. What happens is in this, I, uh, I start autopiloting, uh-huh. and then I'm not concentrating. I'm just talking. <laughs> straight on talking and then I realized I've been driving into a wall for like five minutes straight <laughs> it's go. fine Taking it's fine it man Jack is just I'm watching his little ghost mm-hmm. sort of zoom ahead of me he is good at this game he is it good sucks. at this game I feel like everybody has their game where they're whoops 
just yeah. a master at? What's your game that you're a master uh, at? I don't really have one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really like stealth games. Like I like Splinter Cell mm-hmm. and Hitman. I like to just you're trial and error. You know, I'm actually quite good at Towerfall. Tower, you're very good at Towerfall. I suck shit at Towerfall. I can't play that game. I don't know how you do it. That's probably the one game in the office where I can, if I put my mind to it, I could beat every single person. Really? Yeah. It's a little too uh, quick time for me. You know, it's you have to think way too fast. My yeah. brain just does not work like that. I think that maybe also be why I'm not that good at trials is it's figuring things out in the moment and I guess my brain shuts off when I play video games. Yeah. So. Oh my god, I'm right on Jack's anus here. Look at you this. You got this. You got this, Gavin. Oh, I nope. balls it up. Oh. oh, Jack did too, though. I read a really sad story the other day. You want to be bummed out? Sure. So a guy lost his dad to cancer. Okay. Already bummed out. Already bummed out. And then he uh, found his N64 and put in a game. It was uh, a racing game. Mm-hmm. And he found his dad on one of the tracks, his dad's ghost. Oh like racing around the track. So he would just race his dad Aww. from uh, beyond the grave. Oh, and, uh, man. What, and eventually he got good enough to the point where he could beat the the ghost dad. Uh-huh. But uh he knew that if he did it he would like overwrite that. So he just stopped at the finish line and let his dad pass him. Oh how cute is that? Oh that's a really sad oh Man, <laughs> I never should have agreed to that. <laughs> it's like such a cute story, though. It is I like cute. It. It's like people can be locked into memories in so many different places thanks mm-hmm. to technology. It's so cool. That is so cool. It's like it's a really cool, touching story, but also super bummed. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's sorry all right. About the bumming. It's all right. We'll, <laughs> we'll try and we'll try and pull it back somehow. Uh, someone asked, "How did I become a fan of Achievement Hunter?" Rage quit, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you tell Michael that? No, <laughs> but because um, I used to be a really big fan of RVB when I was like a kid, yeah, and then I kind of fell off of Rooster Teeth, and then one day, no! oh, <laughs> suck it! Uh, one day the Impossible Game Rage quit showed up on like my Facebook feed or something. I somehow I found it, and I was like, "Is this the same people that did Red versus Blue that I used to watch?" And then I got back into Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter. How did you become a fan, Gavin? Red versus Blue. Like from season one? Yep. Nice. And I just never left. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck around literally the entire time. You did. You did, didn't wow, you? Wow, I'm just getting worse. What is your greatest accomplishment in life? Damn. I don't know. Well, I mean, you have a lot of life ahead of you. I do. You're not I, that much older than me. I'm sure... What? How, how old are you? I'm 21. Yeah, I'm seven years older than you. It's not that long. No, I've just no. had a lot yeah. longer to do stuff. True. You've had seven years more to do stuff. <laughs> I do have more ahead of me. I don't know. So I don't know yet. Do you have your greatest accomplishment, Gavin? Uh, proud of Slimer, guys. Yeah, that's, you know what? That's I'm, real. I'm actually, of all the <laughs> things I've done, I'm most proud of getting the visa that I, I used to work here. Because that's very hard to get. True. I'm proud of having an agent. Do you have an agent? I do. And a, and a manager. That's cool. Yeah. I, I have neither of those. Well, you're Gavin Free, you don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty sure that the day I get my puppy, that'll be my greatest accomplishment. You getting a pup? Yeah, I'm getting a pup in September. I can't wait. What kind of puppy? I'm probably going to adopt, so I don't know yet. That's the way to do it. Yeah, I'm going to go get some kind of cute mutt, and she's going to come to the office, and she's going to have a bed right under that desk there. <laughs> and her oh! name is going to be Harley Quinn. And she's going to be adorable. I'm going to spoil her to fuck. Oh, my God. She's going to be the most <laughs> spoiled puppy. I'm going to give her all the treats. She's going to sleep next to me. And we're going to cuddle. I can't fucking wait. God. I've done it again. I've got to not do that there. <laughs> Please tell us that you have a pants shitting story, Mika. Sadly, I've never shat my pants. Really not? No, never. I used to be that guy. You did. <laughs> I... I... Whenever you told those stories of how much you shat your pants, I thought, is that a normal thing that people do? Or is that just a Gavin thing? No, I just had food poisoning. Oh. Like, whenever... I Before I ever had food poisoning, when people said food poisoning, I just assumed they had, like, a funny tummy and they felt a bit sick and maybe threw up. Oh, no. But I had no idea it was, like, liquid from both ends sometimes at the same time. Yep, that's food poisoning, all right. I think every time I've gotten food poisoning, I've been home, so I've never had a pants shitting situation. Yeah, that's good. I've had a near one, though, and it actually happened at E3. This, um, this E3? This E3. I did Hot Pepper Gaming <laughs> the night before <laughs> E3, and Vernon, the little fucker, found one of the habaneros with the most seeds in it. 
and um, what the f- sorry, carry on. No, it's fine. And uh, <laughs> it's like I've done hot pepper gaming before. I've been a habanero. I know the the wrath of a pepper. But for some reason, for that whole week, my intestines were shit. Like just just <laughs> fucked all Literally. to hell. And I was in an Uber going from fucking Sherman Oaks to downtown. Um, which is like a 45 minute drive and there was yeah. traffic and all of a sudden I almost had to tell the Uber driver to pull over so I could shit on the side of the road. <laughs> it was oh, God. painful because I was going to Funhouse which is over by the airport. So like, oh man. Oh man, oh man. It was a long fucking ride and the minute I got there I slacked Bruce and I was like, I'm here but I'm in the bathroom. I have food poisoning. <laughs> I'm dying. I, I think so. you're quite normal for a person who's had your upbringing. Thank you. I try. Well, here's the thing. I also well, I would had, never I had, know by just talking to you. I had black parents. Until you and, suddenly mentioned, you know, Uncle yeah. Pat. Right. That's the thing. It's like my parents tried to uh, raise me as like, my dad was always a dad first and LeVar Burton second. Um, so they, they gave me a very normal upbringing. And every time, as because, you know, as a kid, like pretty much you're, you're taught not to be an asshole as a kid. So every time my asshole would come out or I went to, you know, <laughs> school with, um, like some a lot of uh, shut up Gavin I went to school with a lot of other like celebrity kids and like in elementary school and every time I was like I want to be like them my mom was like you fucking are not and I was like okay Fair just play. kidding so <laughs> Lols. like I had a friend uh, who's one of my best friends now and she never found out that my dad was LeVar Burton until four months into our friendship when she came over because I never talked about it and she's like why didn't you tell me and I was like I didn't think it mattered because it doesn't to me you know oh. I want people to like me for me Gavin what's the worst thing Jeff has ever done to you um, well, he smashed my phone once. Oh. And that was, that was annoying. Had to, that cost me like a hundred bucks to fix the screen. And, uh, he puts his finger in my butt. Honestly, it's when Jeff is in finger butt mode, combined with slightly drunk, is the worst, the worst Jeff that there is. Oh. Also- Because he just goes ham on my anus. We are going to end the, uh, stream soon, because it's 11.59. Oh, okay. Um, so how about we see if we can, you can do this last level. Well, I can't. Well, <laughs> I just, all right. Well, just we're going to switch to both webcams. Okay. And uh, say goodbye to the stream. So thanks for coming, everybody. All right, everybody. Bye. No, no, That's not no, how I works. just be over here. Oh, While I up figure out the uh, controls. I was doing nothing. And then I leapt into combat. Oh, you got one. this shit. All right, so the reflection is really throwing yeah. me off. Yeah. I'm going to have to stay in the middle. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm seeing some Traverse oh, supporters, Mika supporters.